All right, sober October, nine days in. This is October 9th. You, sir, no Mountain Dew. Yes, no Mountain Dew and no alcohol for the month of October, uh, but mainly sodas, no sodas, because uh, that's been my vice. How do you feel? Were you grumpy, ouchy, upset? Uh, well, it's been hard to stay energized, that's for sure, um, but I think I'm starting to have a turning point. So do you feel, uh, you feel better now, or do you feel, November 1st, are you going straight for a Mountain Dew? No, no, I'll probably be uh, fed up with it, sort of like when my body starts rejecting McDonald's food. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and I have done no caffeine and no alcohol. For nine days and I drank about a pot a day and continued up until noon and then we get home and usually have a little vodka sparkling water but since October 1st I have had since September 30th that evening I've had nothing but water hot tea or sparkling water and last week was bad I was asleep most of the week it felt like I've been sleeping 10 to 11 hours lately I went to Dayton, Ohio last week and got lost and couldn't figure out what to do because I was so tired. And I finally am through that. I'm on the other side of caffeine addiction now. I feel mellow. Uh, I feel more collected. My wife is doing the challenge with me. No alcohol, no caffeine for her. And we actually get along a little better. Functioned. I feel like caffeine was really the bad thing. And I don't think I'm going to go back to it. Now, now, unlike your uh, Sober October, I am sort of substituting the Mountain Dew with coffee. Um, so, um, that's probably why I've had less grumpy effects. Uh, mm. where, Not as grumpy? Have you been tired? Uh, well, I mean, sugar withdrawal? I mean, I, I've just been just a constant tired all the time. But mm. that's mainly because there's less hours, less daylight to get the same amount of work done. I think the biggest challenge for me and what I think I might, what I, what I was struggling with last week, aside from the caffeine, was getting off work, getting home, and one, the ritual of pouring a drink, just to unwind. I'm not, I don't drink to get drunk, I just like a drink or two in the evening to unwind. And uh, I think at the end of the month I'll be totally reset. Two drinks would probably put me out by the end of the month. I think I'm going to... And I think I'm going to try to stick with it. My birthday is November 17th. I think I'm going to go, I think I'm going to extend it, maybe. I'm feeling good at this point, but again, it's October 9th, so. Yeah, I, I'd say the big difficulty for me has been my desk is not too far from the pop machine. And so I always hear the do -do -do boom of uh, pop cans. And then it's always a constant reminder of, hey, there's Mountain Dew there. Machine. But uh, uh, I think uh, my willpower, willpower is uh, doing well at this time in the sober October month. And the other thing so far uh, that I have to say, I'm doing good, but I haven't been challenged. October is a beautiful month. It's a great month to do this. And I haven't had to socialize. Yeah. I haven't had to leave the house. If I have to leave the house, if I have to, so this is why no one likes me. This is why I have no, this is why my family hates me. This is why I don't like to leave my house and I don't like to talk to people. But if I do, a little social lubricant helps. So I haven't been challenged yet like that. I'd say a social lubricant is good uh, when uh, at weddings and trying to dance and stuff. Uh, that's usually helpful. Gives a little bit of liquid courage. But uh, and it would take no a need. lot. Even even drinking, I can't do weddings. I don't dance. I don't swim, and I don't talk to people who dance, swim, or go to weddings. So that 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 uh, right there kind of isolates me a little more. But I I think if I were challenged, especially the holidays. Yes. So. Uh, Actually, I do need to confess that uh, on day one, I completely forgot about soda. Uh, so I did not drink a Mountain Dew, but I went over to my grandma's and a lot of times she has Pepsi in the, uh, in the fridge uh, to be nostalgic. Uh, my grandpa would always uh, buy Pepsi and stuff. And so out of habit, she was like, would you like a Pepsi? I was like, yes. And so I drank, I drank a Pepsi, but, um, this is a valuable confession you've made here. And I feel like there's something you need to do to repay. Uh, you know, I think no one interacts with my YouTube channel for your video on your YouTube channel. You need to rely on the comments. 
what you need to do to make up for this soda, to make up for having sinned on the first day of Sober October. Well, I mean, I mean, uh, if you look at the uh, Joe Rogan podcast, I mean, that's our they, inspiration. Yeah, they uh, they have about messed up real bad on day one. They almost went for vodka, I think, on the first day. So, <laughs> yeah. So, so I I would say that initially, my my sober vice was Mountain Dew, specifically that brand, uh, and so, but I've since then I was like, it was an unconscious action that I did of just drinking the Pepsi, didn't even acknowledge it until I left my grandma's house. Um, I vote that your sober October, uh, that November 1st is October 31st, November 2nd is your November 1st. Okay. Okay. Oh, and now the cops are here in the background. <laughs> they heard about this. They heard about the Pepsi you drank. That's why the cops are pulling out. Yeah. 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 And they're parking. Yeah. Yeah. This has been a pretty serious infraction that you've, that you have, uh, <laughs> confessed to here. So yeah, that is, that's our update. That's my update at least. And, uh, so make sure to check out, uh, Mark Brim's YouTube channel and I'm Farmer Brad. YouTube channel uh, getting ready to head out to Homesteaders of America conference. Um, and so this has been a sober October update. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm heading nowhere, but uh, that's because I'm not drinking.